Hello viewers, in today's episode we are going to talk about clothing that is suitable for toddlers, preschoolers and school going child. The first year of the young baby is characterized with rapid growth which of course varies from one child to the other. With this in view, the clothes for the toddler should be of short term use as they would soon outgrow these clothes fast because of their rapid growth. Hence, physical characteristics of the toddler should always be considered while selecting clothes for them. Who is a toddler? A baby between 12 and 18 months is a toddler and at this age the baby begins to walk and he continuously explores his surroundings by crawling. Growth is also rapid during this phase. Hence, the clothes that one should select for the toddler should allow for space for the rapid growth and also should provide freedom for movement. They should also be easy to put on and take off. They should be easy to care for. Of course, these clothes should also protect the baby from the dirt that is there on the floor and uh, the clothing should be loose enough in the hips and crotch for comfort and allow plenty of room for larger diapers. So what are the best clothes that are suitable for these toddlers? Rompers, overalls and knitted shirts are very very comfortable for them. The garments should be well constructed and they should be sufficiently strong because the child starts climbing, he starts crawling, he starts sliding around things a lot. Shoes of course are also one of the principal clothing concerns in this age. Shoes are required when the child starts walking. So what kind of shoes should the child be given? Flexible sole shoes with thin rough soles of about one eighth of an inch should be given to the child. These shoes should fit snugly at the heel for a good grip and they need to be replaced as the child grows. Now let's see what a wardrobe for a toddler consists of. It should include overalls, creepers and sunsuits. It should also include training pants, shirts and blouses, dresses, slips and suits. Apart from this, Nightwear and uh, shoes and socks can also be included. Now let us examine each and every category one by one and try to understand what they mean. Overalls, creepers and sunsuits. This is the principal item in a toddler's wardrobe. What is a creeper? Basically it is a one piece garment with a fastening opening at the legs or at the crotch. As the baby moves mainly with the support of hands and feet, clothing selected should give enough freedom to crawl without any hindrance. At this age, ideal clothes would be creeper and overalls. In summer, the boys and girls could be dressed in creepers or sunsuits, while in winter, they can wear overalls. Overalls give protection to the knees and legs of the creeping child. Now, what are the points that we should remember in mind when we are buying overalls or creepers or sunsuits for these toddlers? First and foremost is the fasteners. By fasteners, I mean zips or buttons. So these fasteners in overalls or creepers should be located in the crotch. This will help in a faster diaper change without completely undressing the child. Another thing that we should keep in mind is to accommodate the diaper and allow easy movement of the child. Hence, the back crotch should be several inches longer than the front. The next point is to keep the baby dry even though the diaper is wet. Waterproof plastic lining in the pants of creepers is essential. The second item that is important in a baby's wardrobe or a toddler's wardrobe is a training pant. Now what is it? It helps in toilet training of a toddler. They should be large enough to fit the child from the diaper stage until he is of preschool age. There are two main types of training pants that are suitable for toddlers. The one that is made with cloth and the other that is disposable. A two-way stretch girdle is a popular type of training pant. It fits snugly around the hips and is short in the crotch and is sufficiently heavy and absorbent to catch most accidents. Another important thing uh, that is in toddler's wardrobe is shirt and blouses. 
These are worn along with the overalls and sunsuits. They should be made with soft fabric, preferably a cotton knit. The well-known uh, uh, shirt or a dress is a t-shirt, which is very, very suitable for boys and girls. So blouses, in case if selected, they should have extra fullness at the shoulder to make it easier for movement of the body. The shirts that open down the front or the back as are easier for dressing than those that are pulled over the head. Gowns and wrappers cut off at the bottom can be used for shirts and blouses for everyday wear. Dresses, slips or suits should be purchased for the toddler by keeping in mind that there should be enough room for growth. But they should not be so large that they are cumbersome for the child. They should allow for freedom of movement and they should be easy to put on and take off as well. If a dress is light in weight, then a thin slip may also be added underneath. Avoid elaborate trimmings that tend to irritate the child's skin and cause problems in laundering. The oversuits that are selected for the toddler should be made of wool or acrylic and they should be interlined as well. These suits should be large enough to accommodate the overalls or dresses and they should have enough allowance for growth as well. In cold weather, the baby needs warm suits or coats and also legging sets and leg warmers. For the night wear, one piece pajamas are better than two piece ones for a creeping baby. These pajamas should be soft and they should be easily washable as well. Shoes and socks when selected should protect the baby's feet when the baby is crawling. Shoes should provide warmth as well. They should be soft and have flexible soles and they should be heelless and also slip proof and they should fit snugly around the heel in order to grip the foot firmly. Now, we are, we are going to talk about clothing requirements for a preschool child. A child between 3 to 6 years of age is termed as a preschooler. At this age, the child is mostly engaged in play and hence the clothes that are selected for the preschooler should be suitable for their various physical activities. At the same time, comfort and health features should not be overlooked at all. Preschoolers have a distinct liking or disliking for different types of clothing and they like to wear clothes that are similar to that of their friends or playmates. This gives them a feeling of uh, belongingness to the group. A little boy will not enjoy wearing a new jacket when his playmates are all wearing sweaters. So, a child may suffer from being overdressed or underdressed or may feel inferior because he is not as well dressed as his friends. So, dressing up like his playmates is necessary for the social development of the child. But at the same time, they should be suitable for all the physical activities that he undertakes. While at play, preschool children like to run, jump, climb, carry, push and pull various things with ease. So, one should select lightweight clothing, well-fitted clothes and comfortable garments for these preschoolers. Reducing the number of constructional details on the clothes also is an important factor that should be kept in mind. Consequently, proper clothing which not only enhances growth and development of the child but also gives the child pleasure and self-confidence should be selected. What are the factors that one should keep in mind while selecting clothes for a preschool child? We should keep in mind um, about fabrics, comfort, safety, self-help features and room for enough growth, ease of care and decoration as well. Now, we just said fabrics. So, what are the right fabrics that are suitable for these preschoolers? The fabrics that we choose for them should be absorbent so that they do not irritate the child's sensitive skin. They should be comfortable as well to wear and they should be very, very soft to touch. They should be wrinkle resistant and therefore easy to maintain. And they should of course not soil readily. So, it is better to avoid clothes that require dry cleaning. Cotton by far is the best choice of clothes for these children because it is easily washable, it is comfortable as well to wear. You can also try and choose a blend of cotton and polyester. 
Wool is warm but requires some special care and may irritate the delicate skin of the child. Acrylic sweaters may show pilling but they are warm enough and they are machine washable. Hence they require no special care. Trims are undoubtedly attractive on any kind of clothing but should be selected with some thought in mind. If a trim is not color fast, it ruins a garment. Some braids that are there on the clothes may shrink more than the fabric itself, causing puckering of the fabric. So, material suitable for boys' suits and shorts are uh, lawn cloth, poplin, jingam, gabardine, khadi, soft denim and jeans. Girls' dresses need to be uh, having more fullness and hence Soft materials such as lawn, poplin, jingam, voile, malmal and cambric can be used. We spoke about comfort as another factor that should be kept in mind while selecting clothes for these uh, preschoolers. Clothes should not hamper the child's play, rather they should facilitate um, their play. Tight clothes which restricts their activities should never be chosen for these children. The clothes that should be chosen should uh, help in natural circulation and um, they should be also pleasant for the child as well. Soft and absorbent fabrics contribute to comfort for the child and clothing selected should be of correct size according to the age of the child. It should fit the body snugly rather than uh, one size that is too big or too small. While selecting pants and panties, uh, enough room should uh, be there around the crotch as well. They should not restrict the child's movements and rough textures are to be avoided at all costs because they irritate the child's smooth skin. Garments selected should not have undue strain across the waistline too. Elastic bindings when present on the clothes should be loose enough otherwise it might cause irritation on the skin. Heavy bulky clothes are very tiring for the child and it's very hard for the child to handle such kind of clothes. Hence, lightweight clothes should be selected. Clothing should be changed as per the season because the child should be kept warm at all times in winter. It is important to dress the child in minimum clothes during summer. Another factor that we should keep in mind for toddler's clothing is safety as well. Clothes that are too large may be uncomfortable for the child and they may also cause awkwardness in the child. Loose garments can get caught on objects and parts of playing equipment and they may catch on fire more easily, so they should be avoided. Buttons and loose trims which are unsafe for babies should be avoided because these children might have a tendency to put on the buttons uh, into their mouth. So, accidents or death in fire can be prevented by using fabrics made from fibers that do not burn readily or by using fabrics that have been given a flame retardant finish. Synthetics, we all know that burn very fast, they melt and stick to the body. Hence, clothes made in synthetics should be avoided for these preschoolers. We should also remember that reinforcement should be given at specific garment areas which are subjected to a lot of strain, example at the knee area. Draw strings should be avoided at all costs at the neck and long ribbons and belts that get caught while playing should also be avoided in these children's clothes. Ties either at cuffs or at pant hems might cause the child to trip and fall, so they have to be avoided in garments. Self-help features that help the child to put on and take off the garments very easily on their own. So these features in a preschool uh, child's clothing help in developing independence in the child and also fosters a feeling of confidence and self-reliance. These are some of the self-help features that can be incorporated into the preschool child's clothing. Large openings and garments will help the child to dress easily on her own. Front openings are easier to handle than the back ones or the side ones. A child can easily grasp large buttons and dress himself without the aid of an adult. A garment front must look quite different from that of the back so that the child is easily able to differentiate the front from the back. Simple styles are 
easier to handle by the children than very complicated ones. Large armholes and necks and loose sleeves make garments very easier to get into. One-piece garments are pretty easy to put on than two-piece garments. Mittens are much much simpler to handle than gloves. Collarless dresses are simpler to handle than those with elaborate design details. Separate belts are best avoided as they may get twisted and get caught while dressing. One should also keep in mind that, that there should be enough room for growth because growth is very rapid during this preschool uh, stage. Clothes should have adjustable features with possibilities for longer wear. One should keep these uh, things in mind while buying clothes for a preschool child. The first thing is to provide for growth in height. What are these uh, growth in height features that one can have in clothes? Like for example, skirts, dresses and trousers with deep hems or tucks at the bottom can help in uh, lengthening of the uh, bodies. They can be later opened as a child grows up in height. Overalls with adjustable straps help in adjusting le the length of the garment as per the height of the child. Yoke dresses with lengthwise tucks can later be released as the child grows in height. Two-piece garments are better since they can be mixed and matched with other garments. Garments with no waistline and deep hems can also be lengthened as per the child's needs. What are the features that one can incorporate in the preschool child's clothes to provide for growth in girth or width? Yoke dresses with crosswise tucks is one because these crosswise tucks can later be released as the child grows fatter. Garments that provide growth in girth or width such as raglan sleeves or kimono sleeves are better than satin sleeves. Garments made out of stretch fabrics also help tide any sudden growth spurts. Tucks, pleats and gathers at shoulder can be released as and when required. Large underarm and leg seams can be let out as needed. Whatever garments that we choose for the preschooler should be um, washed easily. They should stand the strain of wear and they should also withstand frequent laundering and they should not require much of ironing as well. Good quality seams, buttons and buttonholes and trims should be used while making these children's clothes. Reinforcement should be given at different areas of garments uh, that are more specifically subjected to strain such as knees, pockets, corners and elbows. French seam or flat fell seam uh, wears longer than plain seams. Fasteners should be as flat as possible so that they do not hurt the child. The hems should be firm enough and devoid of any strings that may get caught when they are playing. When it comes to decoration on these children's clothes, they should be minimal. And these children love animals and various pictures on their clothes. Applique work of animal designs looks very elegant on these children's clothes. Bias binding and drawn thread works, smocking or cross stitch or French knots, fagoting, blanket stitch are some of the recommended decorations for these children. Pockets add to the child's pleasure and satisfaction more than any other feature in the garment. So, they can be used on boys' shirts, shorts and play suits. Pockets for a hanky and the little girl's valuables encourage neatness and help to provide a sense of self-importance for the child. Patch pockets are pretty easy to reach and are less likely to tear if they are placed on a slant direction. They must be placed on the dress in relation to the design of the dress so that they do not become the center of interest or spoil the proportion of the dress. Large collars add weight and bulk and are therefore not as comfortable for a child as small ones. Now let's try and examine what is the most suitable wardrobe for a preschooler. Shorts, slacks, frocks, 
overalls, trousers and jeans are the favourite play clothes for the preschooler. Little girls dresses can be very attractive in a simple style with becoming lines and colours and simple trims. Dressed length should never be too long, otherwise it might uh, get caught while playing. Some girls like dress shoes and garments to be very very feminine, preferring frilly things or frilly petticoats and full skirts that, that make an effect while twirling. As the little girls grow up, they enjoy having some accessories just like their mothers, like purses etc. So clothes with all these small accessories would help attract the child. Preschool boys are rarely as fashion conscious as girls, but they want to be dressed like uh, their friends and they would want to feel comfortable as well. Most children copy the dress habits of their friends and they feel uncomfortable when they are dressed differently. Clothes with self-help features, sturdy garment construction is essential for these little boys. If all trousers or overalls are of the same style, self-help is easier and the small one feels more secure. Diversity in clothing can be obtained by having variations in color and fabric. Now, let's see what a school going child needs. A school going child is more aware of his or her environment than a toddler. A child of 6 to 12 years of age is known as an elementary school child. Typically, the child is very, very active in this stage and is aware of his surroundings and interested in various activities. The concept of conformity to peer group develops from the age of 6 years onwards. Children become self-conscious when their clothes are noticeably different from those of their friends. It may lead to the development of an inferiority complex or a superiority complex among them. As the child's social circle widens, it makes them increasingly clothing conscious. Consequently, the child develops his own likes and dislikes for various colors and styles in dresses. Psychologists are of the opinion that clothing influences the attitude, behavior and moods of the children. Clothing plays a very important role in the social and emotional development of the child as well. At this age, the child body continues to grow and clothing uh, for this elementary school child should be properly designed so that they feel comfortable at all times. Clothes may sometimes have to disguise the child's skinniness or his chubbiness. In doing so, it may help reduce the feeling of self-consciousness as well. Shy children should not be overdressed or dressed in loud colors, which might add to their embarrassment because it continuously draws attention to their clothing. So they may withdraw even more. Elementary school children's clothing vary only in some respects from that of the preschoolers, although many requirements remain the same. Durable clothing must therefore be provided which will help withstand the strain of vigorous exercises and repeated launderings as well. Clothing that can be machine washed is much better as it helps in ease of care. Now let us examine the general guidelines uh, when we are selecting clothes for elementary school children. One should keep in mind the style and fit of the clothes. One should keep in mind the children's likes and dislikes. The clothes that are selected for these children should also have enough growth allowance. Now what is a style and a fit? And how is it important for a school going child? Clothing chosen for them should be based on the physical characteristics because each child has his own growth spurts. It is always prudent to involve the child in selection as it leads to better acceptance of these clothes. When we are choosing footwear for the children, it is better to put them on the child first before making the final purchase because this helps in avoiding shoe bite or discomfort later on in the usage stage. Garments should be comfortable and should not restrict the movements and activities of the child. They should also have adequate fullness which will help in easy movement of the arms. For example, pleats can be added at the center back of the boy's shirt or yokes while fullness can be considered for the girls dresses. The garment style lines and color should also be such that they will emphasize the desirable features on the child and conceal the undesirable ones. Fabric designs should be in scale with the figure proportion and the type and size. Generally, delicate floral prints and small scale checks and stripes and plates are considered best for 
स्कूल गोइंग गर्ल्स लार्ज डिज़ाइंस में सीम इंटरेस्टिंग बट समटाइम्स कैन ओवर पावर अ स्मॉल चाइल्ड चिल्ड्रंस लाइक्स एंड डिसलाइक्स ऑल्सो हैव एन इम्पैक्ट ऑन देयर क्लोदिंग बिकॉज दे हैव वेरी वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग लाइक्स एंड डिसलाइक्स फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर स्टाइल ऑफ क्लोदिंग बिकॉज इट इज़ मोर एक्सेप्टेड इन देयर ग्रुप और अ गैंग अ फेवरेट मूवी और अ कार्टून कैरेक्टर और एम्बलिशमेंट्स ऑन अ ड्रेस मे इन्फ्लुएंस द चाइल्ड टू फेवर दैट पर्टिकुलर ड्रेस हैंस चिल्ड्रन शुड बी गिवन फ्रीडम टू चूज देयर ओन क्लोथ्स एंड एक्सप्रेस दम सेल्स विद देयर क्लोदिंग द कलर्स दैट आर सेलेक्टेड फॉर द चाइल्ड शुड सूट द पर्सनल कलरिंग ऑफ द चाइल्ड अपार्ट फ्रॉम बींग देयर पर्सनल फेवरेट्स एज वेल क्लोथ्स फॉर द स्कूल गोइंग चाइल्ड शुड हैव एम्पल ग्रोथ अलेवेंस फीचर्स एज वेल सेलेक्टिंग टू लार्ज अ साइज और टू स्मॉल वन will hamper the child's movement and it may also feel uh, uncomfortable for him it is better to choose fitted clothes with provisions for lengthening later on as a child grows in height deep hems and tucks are the main features which are important for lengthening and widening a garment some clothes are made with tucks and pleats at the shoulder line to allow for increase in width trousers can be let down at the hem area to lengthen the garment adjustable straps on uh, frocks or overalls on skirts are much more desirable raglan sleeves allow for better growth adjustments than satin sleeves for girls dresses waistline seams should better be avoided it is wise to buy knitted pajamas and undergarments one size larger because they are not generally pre shrunk and thus should be washed before wearing now let's see what are the uh, suitable uh, wardrobe for elementary school children in general mix and match separates in harmonizing colors are suitable for them it is possible to produce variety in the wardrobe by um, coordinating these separates the top and the bottom together for example a girl can produce variety in her dresses by wearing one printed top either with a pair of jeans or with a skirt a boy at the same time can wear a t-shirt with either a pair of jeans or a trousers or shorts this way it is possible to produce variety in in their uh, clothing t-shirts shirts pants jeans shorts jackets with built-in hood pajamas or night suits and few formal dresses can be added to a boy's wardrobe trendy skirts tops t-shirts jeans tights night suits pajamas and jackets and fashionable formal dresses can be added to a girl's wardrobe along with the clothes the shoes that are selected for them should be durable and sturdy as well the heel strength should be good enough to help the child perform various activities both in school and off the school as far as possible flat shoes that fit properly with a thumbs width between the big toe and the end of the shoe should be selected if the child is unable to tie the laces then velcro style or slip on style shoes can be selected for elementary school child so viewers today in this episode we have spoken about clothing that is suitable for a toddler a preschooler and a school going child hope you had fun in this lesson